Hello YouTubers. Happy Labor Day to all of you. Just wanted to make another update video. I know I make a lot of them quite maybe not too far apart from each other I should say. Anyway, figured I'd show you what's going on. I started I brought the 49, the John Deere 49 snowblower in here. Started work on it. I'm still waiting on some parts to get here. Just basically parts that needs replaced. Nothing's wrong with it. Just like I said, parts that need replaced. So I re replaced the chute why already because we had one bad winter storm last year that pretty much tore it apart. Like I was going through deep snow with the snowblower and the snowblower went just fine, but it was bad enough that that um that wire froze and started breaking shortly so as you can see too i did get rid of the john deere 140 patio i um didn't i bought it thinking i was gonna work on it restore it and that'd probably be one of the very few that I'd actually do a ground up restore to, but I had no, for whatever reason, I had no motivation to work on it, which the funny thing was, yeah, I needed a lot of new parts, but to get it to run again, all I needed was a brand new wire harness, but I still just had no motivation to work on it because I have all these other machines that I play with, I should say. But, so yeah, so I got rid of that one. And I ended up getting these nicely redone, restored Brindley plows, or this Brindley plow. Um, it has been used a handful of times, but it's still in great shape. It's a 1966 model, I believe. But yeah, in really great shape and really good job by the previous owner. I also got this redone, restored Brimley Cultivator from the same guy. This has yet to be put in the ground after being restored. So it has not been in the ground yet. But it's a CC600 if you can see that. Um, yep. So... Some stuff has changed. I'm trying to clean up a little bit. I do have another round fender coming. Probably the third week of this month. So I'll probably make a video on that. I need to do a little bit of work to it. But I know it's in runnable condition. The loader, the loader, the Johnson 10 loader I got. I am going to put on that round fender that I'm getting. Yeah, and then here's the 64 one ton. I need to get it out and drive it around. But my, I guess I haven't really just, I've been messing with the other ones. Like, so I haven't really touched it. Um, Got a bigger air compressor, as you can see. I plan to obviously have an air in, here in the shop to run air in packs and all the other air related tools. But I want to tee it off so that way I can run a hose out in the garage, put a hose reel out there close to the big door as possible. So that way I can run a, the hose reel. I can run, I don't know, 50 feet maybe, maybe even more outside just in case I need to air up a tire, for example. But, yeah, I just figured I'd make an update video of what's going on. And I do apologize that when I put these garden tractors to work, sometimes it's harder to make a video when I do put them to work. A lot of times it's because it's hard to make a video when my boy, my four-year-old boy is sitting on my lap and he wants to take over and everything. So I try to get videos of him running the machines as much as possible when I want to make videos of say like me plowing or in one of the fields or something like that but 
Anyway, take care and happy Labor Day once again. Thanks for watching.